Imagine if I'm like walking like this. Probably, probably not, not a good idea. <laughs> oh yeah. What happened? What had happened? <laughs> How's it going, guys? <laughs> T-Man here. Get to ride home slowly due to the fact that I hate riding in the rain. Also due to the fact that the road is mega slippery. Like everything is slippery. Especially these white lines right here. Whatever arrows, whatever it is, it's all slippery. Slippery dippery. Shouldn't put my foot there actually. Slippery. Well lucky me. The fact that I have a couple days off. Not a couple, more like two weeks. Slow down here. Super right, super safe. Is riding 101 when it's raining. Uh, is to not ride when it's raining. It's a Thursday night. You see all those people camping. They're, I think, I believe they're waiting for uh, some sort of a new shoes new arrival of shoes or whatever you know each to their own everyone got their you know fancy panty or thingy like you know some people line up for uh, games and others line up for new pair of shoes yeah I, I don't know what section of Chinese people I think Hong Kong maybe they're into their uh, you know shoes what kind of Asian am I? Hmm. A lot of people say I could be Thai, Indonesian, and most people say I'm Filipino, but I'm not. I may look like one, but I don't act like one. <laughs> and the other random one was like Mexican. Some guy actually asked me if I was Mexicano. And I was like, nope, not even close. You think I'm loco, I said. And I was like, I didn't say that, but. And the other odd one was when um, when I was like walking around in general in Melbourne, right? And um, these couple from India was like asking for directions, but they were asking me in in their language. I'm like, oh, I don't speak Indian. I'm sorry. But yeah, what kind of Asian am I? Uh, I speak Malay at home with mom. Um, I speak Japanese as well because I studied abroad and picked up Japanese because I was bored but not really bored I just wanted to study the language because I find Japanese quite interesting no more guesses? okay I am from the land of Brunei B-R-U-N-E-I Brunei Darussalam that's where I'm from and most people don't know where it is and I just said it's on Borneo and they're like where the hell is Borneo and I just said it's it's above Indonesia I'm like oh okay above in Indonesia I, I kind of know where that is and I'm like it's next to Malaysia and they're like ah Malaysia you know and then aside from that I just say like you know countries as big as Singapore I mean bigger than Singapore but everyone knows where Singapore is but not Brunei <laughs> surprise surprise but yeah there's where I'm from and uh, I don't really uh, have an accent that's what people most people don't uh, really pick up from me anyway because um, I'm weird just like that I was born there grew up there when I was young and then I grew up again when we moved to Australia I grew up in Darwin for all my adolescence most of my adolescence years and uh, decided to move down to Melbourne a couple of years ago like I think five years ago yeah just about five years ago or six whichever period that is and now I'm in Melbourne beautiful weather as you can see it's so amazing <laughs> I love it so much I love it so much it makes me wet the first time I moved to Australia I was mute it's the same like when I moved to Japan for like to live there for a year I was mute due to the fact that I cannot understand 
what they're saying. <laughs> so in eight months time, I started speaking like an English man, but I'm a brown man acting like an English man. So you know the term banana? I am one of those men. I'm a banana man. Why? Because I'm yellow in the outside and white in the inside. I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but uh, if you grew up in Darwin, racist was one of the key scenario to every single jokes. I have a, like, for example, I have a French best friend, right? He's like, oh, blah, 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 it's too hard, man. It doesn't sound like that, but it's like close to French accent, that, but that sounds more of a libo rather than a French accent. But uh, he's like, blah, 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 I can't do this, man. Help me. And I was like, uh, it's because you're French. But yeah, anyway, guys, uh, I don't really know what else to say. Apart from, uh, I have two weeks off from work. So it's going to be a really nice and uh, day. I don't know what plans I have. I'll probably be spending my time more in the gym and more in photography and more riding. So more moto vlogs to come.